Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks. I'm still in New York at the Microsoft Surface 2 launch event. I'm finally taking a look at the Surface Pro 2. So this is kind of the professional version. Well, that's what it says, right? So what we are seeing here is a Haswell tablet, two-in-one, uh, you name it, in its very own docking station, which is kind of neat. And you know what? I actually would love to talk to you about the docking station first. Um, if you want to release it, uh, that's quite nifty. Right, you're just pulling this out, right, and then you can just pull out the tablet. But let me just turn it around and show you also all the I/O ports that you're getting uh, with the docking station. So we have a connector for your PSU over here. Um, that's a USB one, two, three USBs. We have an Ethernet connector jacks for your headset and for your microphone. These are USB 2.0. There's a USB. Oh my God! Maybe I should just try to find the right light lightning here so you can see it. I'm sorry about that. Here we go. Here are the I.O. ports again. Um, so we have three USB 3.0s, jack for your headset and for your microphone, ether connector, PSU and here's another USB 3.0. There's nothing over here on the right side and this should be a display port. Here we go. That's where it is. Um, besides that, let's talk about the Surface Pro again before I'm going to release it out of its dock. It comes with this 10.6 inch 1080p crystal HD display which definitely gives you a very very proper uh, brightness and also in terms of the color saturation actually you know what Microsoft is saying it is like 45% better in terms of having less reflectors on the screen which I definitely love on a mobile device because we all know glossy displays you know can be such a pain in the ass when you're out in the bright sunlight and you know not everybody wants just to put uh, an anti-glossy foil on top of it. Let's talk a little bit about the specifications of this device. So I told you already it comes with 10.6 inch clear type full HD display. Um, for the external display that you can also connect to the docking station, Microsoft is stating that they can uh, have a resolution up to 3840 by 2160. It comes with an Intel Core i5, that's a 4200 U version, the UV version, uh, 1.6 gigahertz uh, with the Intel Turbo Boost, and that goes up to 2.6 gigahertz. And it also comes with the Intel HD graphics for 400. That means, you know what, in terms of video rendering, when you're using a software that is supporting Intel's quick sync technology, that's going to be blazingly fast. Um, it has 4 or 8 gigabytes of RAM, comes of course with, with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, and it has a 42 watt hour battery. So that means in terms of battery life, well, good question, that's a new Haswell processor. So in general, we should get a gain of like 25 or 30 percent of battery life compared to the original Surface Pro. Um, what else is left there? Well, there are all kinds of different combinations in terms of what kind of SSDs they're using in there. Starting from 64, over 128, 256, uh, up to 512 gigabytes. Let's start on the low end. For 879, you're going to get 4 gigabytes of RAM, a 64 gigabyte SSD, and it goes all the way up to 1779. Yeah, that's true. And then you're getting 8 gigabytes of RAM and a 512 gigabyte SST. Um, it's 13.4 uh, millimeters thick and weighs um, pretty hefty in my opinion, 907 grams. And now we're going to finally uh, take a look around the device. Let me just get it out of this docking station and kind of detach it from the keyboard. You know, I can't tell you anything about the pricing of the keyboard right now. I just hope it's going to be competitive. Um, so, let's start here on the right side. Once again, I need to find the lightning. Where is some light here? That's going to be so dark. Here we go. So we have a USB, we have a volume rocker here. Check for your headset. Um, here are all these kind of connectors for your keyboard, for the touch type, for example. And connected for the PSU display port out. And that's about it.
Uh, we have a 5 megapixel camera on the back and there's a 3.5 megapixel camera on the front which is a really neat camera in terms of low light environment as you know when you want to do Skype calls and kind of video chats or whatever and um, it's always hard to see people when they can't just deal with the light uh, around them and the brightness so um, this camera was quite impressive or at least what, they, what Microsoft demonstrated here during the launch event. Um, what else are you getting? You're getting also a year of a 200 gigabyte free SkyDrive cloud storage and you're getting a year of international Skype calls for free and all the free, um, well not the free one, it's going to be free for you for a year on the Skype hotspot so you can also surf on the go. So this is a quick and dirty hands-on of the new Microsoft Surface Pro. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching.